trailed heading into the fourth against Nigeria and never led in the fourth What's quarter. What's going on, people? We can't take the lead yet. We're back for another one. Chilling, 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 motherfucking chilling. Yeah. Uh, 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 the one. Let's go, USA. USA. <laughs> Uh, the conversation we finna talk is about the females. You know, I don't really get into females and shit because I told y'all you ain't gonna fully understand these women. But this is some shit that I, I feel like I need to speak on. No, it ain't about the men. It's about the women. Man, we, we, we good on this one. We good on this one. You know, I, I would get on niggas like a motherfucker. I'm, I'm, on, I'm talking about these females, bro. These, these females been turned into trying to be niggas. These females trying to be niggas. It's an epidemic now. Now, I know y'all say, you know, well, niggas do shit. We just tired of it. We just tired. Well, I know you heard the saying, two wrongs don't make a right. That's true. Two wrongs don't make a right. Okay. Easier said than done. I can't tell y'all how to feel because I'm a fucking man. And y'all in a position where I know y'all leave y'all get back shit, revenge shit. Y'all want to be the pimps and players now. I understand it. So I can't tell you how to feel. But what I can say. For the one, two. In a good position. That's not a good way of thinking. Excuse me. That's not a good way of thinking. When you want to be the man. you want, That was good. That was a good ass layup. Patty Mills. That's not a good way of thinking, like, to get uh, get back. I'm going to get you back. That's not a good way of thinking. So, yeah, I, I know it's easier said than done. Uh, it's, it's an epidemic now. We got women trying to be like men, trying to behave how men act. And you're not, if you... I'm going to say that every woman and every man want somebody down. Every woman want a man. I don't care what they say. Every man want a woman. I don't care what he say. I don't care what I say. You feel what I'm saying? Every motherfucker wants somebody at the end of the day. And the way our society is moving, it's, it's getting worse. You got trannies trying to tell real women how to be women. You can't do that. That it don't, it, it don't work. You feel what I'm saying? Like, that's that's not a good look. Everybody wants somebody. Every female you talk to want a nigga. I don't care what she say. I don't need no man. I'm sorry. She want a man. She want a man. If she find that right nigga, she gonna be right on his dick. Same with a nigga. Man, for the whole nigga, for the he beat the right one. That's solid. He gonna be with the bitch. Period. Trust issues and all. He gonna he gonna be with the girl. Okay. Now the problem with the females is uh, y'all want to be like a man. Yeah, I want to be a nigga too much. I, it's still some niggas out here, like real guys, like man, manly guys. You know, um, you can't behave like a nigga to every nigga. Because every nigga ain't going to take that shit how you feel like they should. Every nigga ain't going to take that shit lightly. You act like a nigga to me. I'm leaving your ass alone. 
I may get some pussy out you, but uh, if not that, I'm leaving you. I don't want nothing to do with you unless it's business. And that may be a, a restriction. I don't want no bitch to act like a nigga. I don't want you to be a player. Feel what I'm saying? Now, if you single, you doing your thing, you trying to get some money, you doing your thing, okay. But if you if you got a dude and you trying to be a player, that ain't gonna work. You're not gonna keep him. Now, I'm not saying men being a player is right, but that's nigga shit. For the most part, that's nigga shit. I'm not saying that's right or wrong. That's just how niggas is, man. Now you trying to be a fucking nigga. That you really fucking up. What's the point of females then if you want to be a nigga? There ain't going to be no more real women. Niggas like pritzy women. Not, you know, ain't saying bougie, bougie, all that shit, but nigga like women. You trying to be a player and shit, you know, to your own shit, that's cool. Like, if you just fucking around, but if you want a guy, you want a nigga, and you trying to be a player, it's not going to work. Because that nigga might not trying to be a player. If you want a nigga, be a woman. And the nigga will come. But you trying to be a nigga, it ain't going to come. How the fuck you going to be a nigga when a nigga already knowing what you doing? He's a nigga. At the end of the day, bruh is a nigga. So you trying to beat him at his own game. That's not going to work. And stop listening to these bitches rapping. These bitches is rich. You not rich. These bitches can do the shit that they do. They rich. City girls and shit like that, they rich. You not rich. You feel me? You got to compromise. I was finna say, I not know this nigga ain't finna make that shot. It's, it, 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 you fucking up the design. Hold on, I get bad, man. Bro, I know USA ain't finna lose two in a row, bro. This is, if they make this shot. I'm trying to see what the fuck's gonna happen. Buckets, buckets. What the fuck is going on? They better not ever say the U.S. is the best of the best when we losing to foreigners. No disrespect to foreigners, but you really can't say USA is the best of the best when we losing to foreigners. Bro, we lost to Nigeria, nigga. Nigeria. And we losing to Australia. We losing to a fucking island. A island, nigga. Where the phone is?
Oh, okay, here you go. Yeah, women, you trying to be a player, that's cool if you're in your player phase. Now, if you trying to, if you trying to, uh, if you looking for somebody, you want a guy, like you really want a man, that ain't going to work. You need to stop and be a fucking woman. Stop trying to be a nigga. But we really lost. We really lost to Australia, people. We lost to Australia. I done lost my bet. We lost to Australia. We just lost to Nigeria. Now we lost to Australia. Wow. If you're looking for a man, you looking for a guy. You need to quit trying to be a nigga and be a fucking woman. Alright. Alright, all y'all bitches want a nigga. But the way you thinking and the way you move, you ain't gonna never get a solid nigga. You gonna get a nigga that you probably attracted to sexually or something. But you're not going to get a nigga that you want and a nigga that you need because you want to be a nigga. You want to be a player. You understand what I'm saying? The fuck? You're not. You, you, you just not. I be seeing y'all hoes, man. I be trying to be slick and shit. I watch. I watch everything. Damn near everything. Oh, that's over. That's crazy. Bro, we lost to Australia. Are you fucking kidding me? We lost to Australia and Nigeria. Did I win my bet? <laughs> Did I win my bet? Shout out to uh, the foreign teams, bro. Shout out to Australia and Nigeria. Shout out to everybody. They earned this shit. I can't believe this shit. Oh. Uh, Oh, what I was gonna say. If you're looking for a guy, you gotta leave that little player shit alone. And, and, and I see all you hoes be trying to be slick and trying to be niggas. You're not gonna get a man. You're not. I, I know you feel like you get revenge and trying to be a nigga because the niggas played you in the past. It ain't gonna work. All right? This is the harsh reality. You being with the niggas who treated you wrong, being like, did that sound right? You trying to be like the niggas who treated you wrong ain't going to work. It's not. It's not. You're not going to get a solid dude. You're going to keep going through the bullshit with every nigga you come across trying to be a nigga. Trying to be a nigga is a figure of speech, by the way, but trying to be slick and trying to be a player. Women can be players, too. They call it player X. Yeah. Trying to be a player, trying to be a nigga, you're not going to get the nigga that you need. You're going to fuck with a nigga that you think you want, but you don't need. And you're going to keep going through the same cycle. You're going to be 45, 55 years old, single, with grandkids, taking care of your grandkids. With no motherfucking man. Drinking wine with your quote-unquote girlfriends that can't stand your ass. And you can't stand them. You're going to be the single big mama in the hood that ain't got nobody. 
because you want to be a player. The men, can, the, the men can find somebody when they older. All they got to do is act right. That's it. That's it. Hell, he ain't even got to act right. He can find somebody. He going to find somebody. You, ladies, not going to find nobody because you, you emotional. You want to be emotionally attached. You're going to get tired of people that you that, that's not meant for you. Men could last longer with somebody that ain't meant for them. You see what I'm saying? Most of the time, niggas need somebody to be grounded with. You feel me? They still fuck around, but they got that motherfucker that they grounded with. Women need a nigga for everything. You see what I'm saying? Women need a nigga for everything. See, y'all can't have a nigga that y'all grounded with and have three, four other niggas. It don't last that long. Niggas can do that. Y'all go off empathy, emotion. Y'all are nurturing creatures. You are nurturing emotional creatures. So every person y'all deal with is on an emotional level. Niggas just wanna, you know, it's just for pleasure. Now y'all got pleasure too, but it's, it it has a lot of emotion to do with it. You trying to be players, you get psycho in the head. Look, I'm not. I'm gonna say it again. I'm not saying niggas who do that is right. That's just a nigga. I'm not saying what we do is right or wrong. I'm not saying, but they really got balls as an animation on this commercial. But they really put some nuts. They put two golf balls on the underwear commercial. My balls ain't that damn big. They ain't small, but damn, they got two golf balls, nigga. Don't even put a commercial team USA on the hell. We just lost to Nigeria and Australia, nigga. We play Argentina tomorrow. We probably gonna lose to them. Shit, we lost to them in 04. We lost to Argentina in 04. Nigga, we had LeBron, Wade, Iverson, and Duncan, nigga. And we lost. The fuck? I forgot who else we had. Uh, I forgot who else. I, oh, Ma, I think we had Marbury. But we lost to Argentina. <laughs> Ginobili, if we lose to them, bruh. I don't know, man. I don't know. And, and Ginobili ain't even playing. I want him to play. Defense I don't that know. Made the difference but the female and another thing, man, y'all got to stop talking to niggas crazy, especially y'all niggas. If y'all got niggas at home and shit, stop talking to these niggas crazy. You feel what I'm saying? Stop, stop talking to these niggas. What the fuck? This is a whole new ball of wax for them in terms of competing. Stop talking to niggas crazy. Most of this team, a lot of first time Olympians, I did see some. I don't know. By, by the United States down the stretch. I mean, a couple turnovers. What the fuck is that? Phil's told us it was defense that made the difference. Y'all be thinking I'll be bullshitting. Look at this shit. What is this nigga? Between the first half and the second half, we saw them impact the game on the defensive end. And then Wait, hold on, hold on. Yeah, here we go. Hold on. I mean, what is that? Missed shots, um, uncharacteristic. Y'all gotta stop uh, If y'all got niggas at home Y'all got good dudes Stop uh, They fucking up our record man We 54 and 2 in the exhibition games bro the two L's came this year. What the fuck, bruh? It was perfect. But this one will sting for a little time. Was he 91 83 again? Tomorrow on 6 Eastern. Y'all gotta stop talking to y'all niggas crazy like they little boys, man. I don't care if they nice or not. 
Y'all gotta stop talking to niggas like that. Some niggas ain't gonna just slap the fuck out of you. Some niggas ain't just gonna snap on you. Some niggas have like calm demeanors. Y'all gotta show them niggas respect too. If, if they your dudes, if they your boyfriend, your husband, stop talking to these niggas crazy, man. Cause these the niggas that's gonna be down for you. And the niggas you think you want gonna treat you like shit. You see what I'm saying? Stop talking to these niggas crazy that be down by that that that's your real nigga and be and be by your side, bro. Stop talking to these niggas like they little boys and like they ain't shit. So what's the move? Show these motherfuckers the, the nice guys. Listen to Verb. Verb be telling y'all. Listen to Verb. He just put up a video, man, said, uh, the nigga that really love you gonna be down when you when you fucked up, your car break down, you're sick, he gonna be there. The nigga you think you want ain't gonna be there for you just wanna fuck. But you stupid hoes don't get it. You don't fucking get it. <clears throat> this nigga telling you, he the nigga that you go to when you, you feel what I'm saying? He the nigga that's gonna dog you out. He, he the nigga that's, the nigga that y'all go to, the fuck around with, the lead your, 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 your man with, he's the spokesperson. He's telling you, he's telling you, he fucking telling you, and you still ain't listening. You hoes gonna learn the hard way. I'm the nice guy. You feel me? But you're not finna talk to me any type, any kind of way. You're not finna do me any type of way. A lot of niggas don't think. A lot of nice niggas don't think like me. Niggas are put up with that shit. I'm not finna put up with that shit. I cut your ass off so motherfucking fast. You feel what I'm saying? What I'm saying is, ladies, like, if you got a good dude by you, stop disrespecting this nigga just because he's nice. If you're not ready for a nigga, if you're not ready for a guy that's going to take care of you or whatever, respect you, the nice guy, the nigga that you need and you know that you need, leave him alone and go fuck around with the motherfuckers that you want. Cause you're not gonna get that nigga again. Go and get your little hoe and shit out the way. And then you feel what I'm saying? But if you feel like you with the nigga, we got a nick we got a black man and then and uh We got a nigga in uh monster truck. Oh Bobby Dang, we got a nigga in monster truck. Look at this. Look. Check this out. Oh, okay, okay, here we go, here we go, here we go. Look. Hold on. Hold on. Look at that. We got a nigga in Monster Truck. <laughs> we finna take over, baby. We just need hockey. We just need hockey. Niggas can drive. I think I can do NASCAR, honestly. I can drive like a motherfucker. Yeah, yeah, I can drive. I know it. Now that, I know I can do. I, boy, what? You should have seen me in my GP, nigga. Oh, damn. Why the nigga ain't in the race for the championship? Who the brother? That look like father son. I'm just playing. Ladies, man, stop doing this shit though, man. This is this is coming from a nice guy. This is coming from a nice guy. You're not finna talk to us crazy. You're not finna treat us, cause you're not gonna get him back. 
I'm just, you ain't got to you ain't got to believe me, and you ain't got to listen to me. These are facts. You gonna be going through that roller coaster all your motherfucking life. You gonna be 80 years old before you settle down with somebody that you need. By that time, you are gonna be old as fuck. It's about respect. That's all it is, and it's about reality. If you're in a position where you don't, you you can't fuck around with different motherfuckers. You need to understand who you got that's down for you and take advantage of that nigga. Cherish that nigga. If you do fuck around, don't be blatant. I, I'm going to say it. I know some of you hoes going to fuck around with the nice dude, with the good dude. If you going to do that, if I, I I know it's hard for y'all. You feel like this nigga a bitch. You don't respect him. But this the only nigga that you got. At least be discreet with your cheating. At, that's the at least I recommend you don't cheat at all. But if you gonna cheat, be discreet. Don't disrespect this nigga like that. Don't let this nigga walk in and you sucking the nigga dick. And no, that didn't happen to me. I don't know where that shit came from. I don't know why people saying I walked in the house and my girl was getting fucked. That did not happen. I, I don't know where that came from. I had to meditate or reflect. I'm like, damn, did that happen? Because everybody's saying it. That did not happen. Ladies, have some type of respect for a motherfucker that's down for you. Y'all keep putting this shit on your Instagram. I want a nigga that... I need a love. I need love. I want to love. You not going to have love if you ain't doing your motherfucking part. You got a nigga by your side that's down for you. You don't want him. You want the nigga that's going to treat you like shit. When you hoes going to learn? I don't take none of you hoes serious. That's why I do what I do. I don't take none of you hoes serious. And a lot of us niggas don't take none of you hoes serious. Motherfucker just fuck with you and ba boom boom. Because you don't practice what you preach. You don't want love. You want love, but you don't want love. You don't want to You don't want to do the part to have the love or at least keep the love. You don't want to do shit for the love ain't just going to come and stay. You got to do your part. Y'all see the problem with you hoes? Y'all don't put no effort in the shit. It ain't hard. Niggas is simple. We simple as fuck. If you got a nigga that's paying your bill, taking that love you, love your kids, nigga, he a stepdaddy, damn, show the nigga some respect. If you gonna cheat, don't let the nigga know. You smart enough to do that. If you gonna cheat, let don't let them know. Damn. Y'all do this shit just cause you don't respect the nigga, and that's why you always fucked up. That's why y'all niggas, y'all bitches be having three, four kids with no nigga. Cause you disrespect every nigga that love you. And then you run around on Instagram and Twitter whining about you want a real nigga. You can't have your cake and eat it too. I know it's hard. You can't have it. You got kids. You need a nigga that's going to take care of you and your kids. There's plenty of niggas that'll be the stepdaddy out here. But y'all hoes don't respect them. No, nah, I don't. I don't want to be a step. No, nah, hell, I ain't talking about me. I don't. I don't. I don't want to be a stepdad. I ain't. Saying, nah, I, I'm saying like if I love the girl, then yeah, you know what I'm saying. But off rip, nah, I ain't trying to be no motherfucking stepdad. I'm just saying like the niggas that will. I had a cousin that had a, a guy took care of four of her kids, man, for years. I don't know what happened to them, but that man did a damn good job. It's possible. 
And he was an old man. He took care of all the motherfuckers. Every Christmas bought him some shit. Every time they had a basketball track, whatever they had, he made sure they had the equipment and he went to the game. It's possible. And my cousin respected him and shit. The problem with you hoes, y'all don't respect niggas that give a fuck about y'all. And you wonder why you always out here trying to be a nigga and trying, you all sad and sorrow and shit. You, you saying that you ain't got no fucking heart and shit. You, 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 you know what I'm saying? Like you ain't got no heart. You, you a dog and you ain't no fucking dog. You just want love, bitch. But you don't understand. You got to put in your work to have love. Y'all bitches got to admit to the reality. Admit when you ain't ready to settle down. Admit that you ain't that you ain't ready for Russell Wilson. I watch y'all, bro. I'm on Instagram damn near every day. I watch y'all. I watch y'all out in the street. Y'all are walking hypocrites. You hoes be having three, four kids. Your baby daddies ain't shit. And talking about you need love, and when the nigga there for you, you treat them like shit. Which one is it? I'm sick of y'all posts talking about you want love and all that, no nigga that do this. And... No, you don't. Because you don't act like it. You don't act like it. And a nigga like me ain't gonna feel no motherfucking sympathy for it. Don't come to me. Shit. Yeah, I'm a nice guy. I ain't them I ain't them other nice guys, nigga. I ain't gonna play with your motherfucking ass. Don't come over here. I'ma treat your ass just like Pookie and Ray Ray. Shit. You got a you got a lot of other nice guys. Treating you bitches like Pookie and Ray Ray. Because of y'all. I want a man that's going to treat me with respect. I want a man that's going to love me. I miss the text messages. Hello, baby. You ain't even doing your part. You ain't even doing your motherfucking part. What the fuck you think you just finna just uh talk to a nigga any type of way and treat a nigga any type of way and all that shit and a nigga ain't finna do shit? It's seven billion motherfucking people in this world and it's twenty three to twenty four women to every man. I ain't good at math, but let's do this. If it's seven billion people and it's twenty three, twenty four to every man, it's probably like Five billion women and the rest niggas. I'm kidding, I'll be out of here in 20 seconds. But look, if you got a problem with your fight, you ain't that damn special, is what I'm saying. So you hoes better keep the nigga that you got that's down for you. At least keep him on your team and treat that nigga with respect. That's the nigga that's gonna take care of your fucking kids. If you don't do it for yourself, do it for your fucking kids. Let these kids grow up with a damn father figure. At least do it for them. You can like, can you last 18 years? Hell, 16, 16, they pretty much co cognizant of if they had a daddy figure in their life, they'll, you know, that'll continue to be with them. But if the baby's like five, six, and then you, 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 you treat the nigga like shit and he leave, the, 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 the baby fucked up. At least keep the nigga for 16, 17 years. Had that nigga in that, in that, in that child life. Y'all hoes get rid of all the good niggas that treat y'all with respect and, and, and do you right. What I'm saying is some of you hoes ain't in a position to deal with Pookie and Ray Ray. You need a Russell Wilson right now, at least for a couple of years. 
Y'all bitches want the cake and eat it too. Some of you hoes can't do that. Keep that Russell Wilson for a couple years. Take care of your kid. Make sure your kid's straight. Get your nails done. Save up your bread. Make sure you treat Russell Wilson with respect. Fuck with future in your spare time. Don't let don't put future out there like that. Stop disrespecting Russell Wilson. You see the nick like us niggas, we make sure our main bitch straight. At least we try. The main bitch be straight. The side bitch, you know, we ain't really give a fuck about that bitch. But the main bitch is straight. Make sure she's straight. You feel what I'm saying? Y'all need y'all bitches need to do the same thing. Make sure y'all main nigga, the nigga, the nigga that's paying y'all bills. Taking care of your kids and shit like that treats you right. That nigga need to be your main nigga. Y'all don't even know the fucking game, but y'all act like y'all. Y'all don't even know the game. You ho don't even know the game. Y'all acting like y'all some play. Y'all don't even know the fucking game. The game is to keep the nigga that's keep the beneficial nigga and put the sorry nigga to the side. Y'all don't even know that. And you had a nerd of wine. And then try to make rap songs about niggas. Y'all the problem. Motherfucker. How you gonna get rid of the nigga that's doing you the best that you ever had? That ain't game. That's stupidity. You don't have y'all hoes don't have no game. It ain't that many good niggas left. And you bitches fuck them up. This is the most stupidest generation of hoes I've ever seen in my fucking life. You hoes are stupid. I'm looking at, every, I'm watching everything. Y'all hoes treat these good niggas like shit. If you gonna fuck around, do it discreetly. You dumb broad. Or if you do, don't, don't fuck with Russell Wilson at all. Leave him be. Stay with Future. But when you get when you come across a nigga that actually love you, or if you got kids that love you and your kids, you need to cherish that man. They ain't they not around like that. They not. And stop letting these trannies tell you how to move. Yeah, Megan the Stallion. Stop letting these trainers tell y'all how to move, man. Y'all got trainers telling real women how to move. If you look at back in the day, see, I got old parents. I ain't saying they were cheating, but when they did shit, they wasn't all out in the open because they respected they spouse. They respected they women. The women respected they men. If they was fucking around, they didn't let the nigga know. That is respect. If you go, I know it's hard not to cheat. But if you're going to cheat, have some fucking courtesy. Have some respect. Back in the day, that's what they used to do. They had respect. They had, they had respect. 
y'all hoes now don't have respect because you listening to all these little young ass bitches that don't know shit about the game. These hoes ain't got no game. Stupid motherfucker. How the fuck you gonna listen to 19, 20, 21 year olds when you 35? These hoes that's rapping on it, these female rappers that's rapping on the on the on the radio, ain't got no kids. They just got out of high school. And you 35, 40 with five kids. How the fuck you gonna listen to them? And you feel what I'm saying? You need to get the motherfucker that's gonna. You in a position to not compromise. We think it matters where me kids start. Like especially if you looking for somebody, you can't compromise. I'm sorry, you cannot compromise. You need to get what you can get from the nigga that's giving it to you. Confidence that only comes from mailing your But nah, nah. You want a nigga that's gonna treat you like shit. Ten years, twenty years later, you still ain't shit and your child ain't gonna be shit. And they ain't had no father figure. Now you're gonna be writing, you're gonna see them on Instagram. Yeah, nigga, yeah, 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 we shooting shit up. Posing with guns and trying to be a rapper shooting everybody and shit. It's the same cycle over and over because you stupid bitches don't learn. This is one of the most hard-headed era I ever seen in my fucking life. How many times? It's right in your fucking face. Some of y'all seen your grandmama deal with it, your mama deal with it. And y'all still don't learn. You still don't learn. You need to cherish what you got that's good to you. That's all I'm saying. Cherish what you got that's good to you. Because you might not ever get the motherfucker again.